In this video, we will be studying about the rural credit. Now, what is rural credit? See, whenever uh, you give credit or you give to, to the uh, loans to the farming families or to the families living in the rural area or the backward region or the very poor family, that is known as the rural credit. So, rural credit means credit for the farming families right oh now why do farming families need rural credit just because the farming families mostly have a small and marginal holdings right so that small small piece of land or that small holding is can fulfill their subsistence need only so in order to earn profit or in order to grow more they need more land and for that they need further investment so it becomes very uh, necessary to take the credit from the rural credit agencies just because of the small and marginal holdings second is your gas station period between sowing and harvesting of a crop See when the farmers sow the crop and when they harvest and sell them in the market the period is very long nearly from uh, 5 to 6 months. So how will they be able to bear the expenses from 5 to 6 months? So due to this reason they require a credit. Now according to the Indian uh, farmer system we have classified credit into three major parts. Number one is your short term credit. See this credit is taken from for at least 6 to 12 months only. Now why do farmer take this credit? In order to improvise their farming techniques. Let's say to uh, buy the HYV seeds. To buy the fertilizer, pesticides. And then uh, making payment of electricity bill. So all these, due to all these reasons, the farmer requires a short term credit, which is for six to twelve months. So short term borrowing generally stretches over a period of six to twelve months. So due to these reasons, they need the borrowing. And second comes your middle term credit. See, your middle term credit is from 12 months to 5 years. Suppose a farmer needs to buy a tractor, so he will take a middle term Credit. So middle term credits are usually taken for purchasing of machinery. For constructing fences around the uh, field. And for the permanent means of irrigation, for establishment of permanent means of irrigation like digging wells in order to make the permanent uh, means of irrigation. So these are your middle term credits which the 
farmer requires. Third is your long term credit. Let's suppose the farmer want to increase the type of crop or diversify the farming or its agriculture activity. So the farmer need to buy a another land. So these long term credits they have the tenure from the five years to twenty years. These long term credits are usually meant for the purchase of additional land. or carrying out permanent improvements on the existing land. So basically the tenure of this long term credit is from 5 to 20 years. Now the requirement of the credit for the farmer can be further classified as well on the basis of the use for the productive borrowing or for non-productive borrowing see when you are taking the credit for some production activities like uh, seeds if you have to buy or machinery if you have to buy anything which is related to farm and you are taking the credit then it is your productive borrowing and your non-productive borrowing is whenever you are taking credit let's say for the marriages of your children or for some festival occasion or for the education in that case it is a non-productive borrowing so this was all about the rural credit i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us